Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. May Allah's peace, mercy, blessings be on you. Welcome to the Gems from the Quran. And Alhamdulillah, still we are going with this wonderful chapter, the chapter of Ghost or the chapter Surat Al Jinn. And as I told you before, Surat Al Jinn is a Makki surah. It was revealed before the migration of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And also we mentioned about the Sabab al Nuzul, why it was revealed. And the stories of the jinn and what they are doing and how they go to Allah Almighty or they go to all the way to the, uh, the first heaven that Allah Almighty created. They want to hear what's going on, etc., etc., etc. Until we stopped at ayah number 14. Ayah number 14, Allah Almighty mentioned, وَأَنَّا مِنَّ الْمُسْلِمُونَ وَمِنَّ الْقَاسِطُونَ فَمَنْ أَسْلَمَ فَأُولَٰئِكَ تَحَرَّوا رَشَدًا which means, وَأَنَّا مِنَّ الْمُسْلِمُونَ So amongst us, within the jinn, we are Muslims. وَمِنَّ الْقَاسِطُونَ And amongst us, there are some unjust jinns. فَمَنْ أَسْلَمَ So whoever believes in Allah Almighty, whoever become a Muslim, فَأُولَٰئِكَ تَحَرَّوا رَشَدًا So these people are those who have sought out to the right course. So Allah Almighty saying, about the jinns, that they are good jinns, Muslimun, and there are some other jinns, Qasitun. Qasitun, they are unjust jinns, which means they are unjust to themselves, unjust to the other uh, jinns, and whatsoever they are doing some bad things. So those who are Muslims, we all know that these people, these Muslims, those who believe in Allah Almighty, they will be go to the uh, to the Jannah, to the a place where Allah Almighty will give them the blessings and the reward and the pleasure. But what about Al-Qasitun, the unjust people or unjust jinn? Allah Almighty mentioned in ayah number 15. So Allah says in ayah number 15, وَأَمَّا الْقَاسِطُونَ فَكَانُوا لِجَهَنَّمَ حَطَبًا Allah Almighty says, but as for the unjust, they will be for the hell, Firewood. Yes, Allah Almighty will place them in the hellfire. Not only that, Allah Almighty is saying that they will be jahannama hataba. You know, for the fire, sometimes you want fire to get more uh, hot and more increase uh, the, the, the number of the fire or the size of the fire. What you will do? You put more wood, right? Allah Almighty is mentioning about those who are unjust, those who are unfair, either from the jinn or from the men. Allah Almighty will place them in the hellfire and Allah will use them to burn the fire. Allah will use them as a wood. As Allah mentioned here, Allah will use them as a firewood. Allah will place them to make the fire get more and more high in number because these people were unjust. This is very serious, my brothers and sisters. You think you are living in this world being unjust to your wife being unjust with your children, being unjust with your employees, being unjust with your whatsoever, it's easy? Wallahi, it's not easy. I swear by Allah, it's not easy. Being unjust, it's, it's, how can you accept it? Do you accept it for yourself that your manager or your boss or your maybe some of the family member will be unjust for you, will not give you proper time that you deserve, will not give you proper uh, expenses that you deserve will not give you proper education that you deserve living in this world education reading going to the school getting education this is something that you need it is your right imagine someone is preventing it someone is not giving it to you someone is not providing it to you do you think it's easy it's not easy wallahi so unjust and being unfair it is not allowed in islam at all and those who will do this continuously and will die upon that without tawbah, without repenting to Allah Almighty, Allah Almighty said about them, they will be the firewood for the hellfire. May Allah protect us. We will inshallah ta'ala take a short break. We'll continue after that. Stay with us, inshallah. Welcome back, dear viewers. So we're talking about this wonderful ayah, 
ayah number 15 where Allah Almighty says وَأَمَّا الْقَاسِطُونَ فَكَانُوا لِجَهَنَّمَ حَطَبًا And as for the unjust people and unjust jinn and men whosoever they will be for the hell as a firewood Allah Almighty will use them as a wood for the fire wood for the hellfire and I gave you this example it is very very important for every one of us men women the one who's at home the one who's at work the one who's doing business the one who's doing whatsoever be just Allah's one of the names and attributes is Al-Adl Al-Adl means the most justice Allah is dealing with every human being on the day of judgment with justice Allah will treat everyone with justice and he wants us to deal with people and, and treat people with justice. You cannot be unfair. You cannot be unjust. Because Allah Almighty, He is just, Al-Adl, and He wants to deal with people with Al-Adl, with justice. So Allah Almighty is saying here, so whoever is unjust, he will be placed in the hellfire and Allah will use him as a wood for the hellfire. And then Allah Almighty is giving chance. And Allah Almighty is Ar-Rahim. Allah Almighty is the most forgiven. Allah Almighty is whenever He wants and whenever He finds any chance, He will give it. He will give any chance and any opportunity for His slaves, people to repent to Allah Almighty. So Allah Almighty, He is saying and giving us a chance out of His Rahmah, out of His mercy. And Allah is saying in ayah number 16, وَأَن لَّوْ اسْتَقَامُوا عَلَى الطَّرِيقَةِ لَأَسْقَيْنَاهُم مَّاءً غَدَقًا which means and Allah revealed that if they had remained straight on the way we would have given them abundant provision can you imagine so Allah saying that if you are really on the guidance if you are trying to be on the guidance if you stay on your own guidance if you are having this tariq, if you have this way and you are on this way, what will happen to you? Allah Almighty will provide you with provision. Literally means Allah will make them drink from the water, from this pouring water. But also another meaning of it, the tafsir says, that that Allah will provide them with provision, Allah will give them risk, Allah will give them this sustaining, that Allah is Al Karim and Al Razak, He is the most generous and He is the most giving and He gives the risk. So you will keep getting from Allah Almighty one shart, one term only. That is Wallaustaqamu ala tariqa. If you are only on the guidance, if you are only on the a straight path, Allah will keep giving you and giving you and giving you. You, your family, your children, your generation after generation will get. The only one thing is required that you have to be on the guidance. You have to be on the straight path that Allah Almighty showed you and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, showed you and you will continue that path. It's simple. The path is very simple. Allah Almighty said, and me and you always hear it every Friday. You know, every Friday we go to the masjid, we go to the uh, Jum'ah, we pray the Friday prayer, and we sit. What happens? We hear the Imam on the mimbar, he says, and he starts his speech by saying, وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَاز وَمَن يُطِعِ اللَّهَ وَرَسُولَهُ فَقَدْ فَاز Which means, whoever obeys Allah and his messenger, he will be successful, he will attain the great success. So this is a great success. Follow Allah, follow Messenger, you will be successful in this world and in the hereafter by the will of Allah. The time is up for this episode and inshallah ta'ala will continue in the next episode. Until then, take care of yourself and your family. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.